you bet. Um, I don't know if you know uh, Ben Stone from the ACLU. Hi, Ben. Good to see you. Nice Hi, to see you. Hi, very good to see good you. To see you too. Excuse good to me. see you. Um, uh, we're really in line with your State of the State address asking for Iowans to work together right. in a bipartisan fashion. It doesn't get much more bipartisan than a conservative talk show host than the ACLU. Um, we've lost count, to be perfectly honest with you, Governor. Uh, as you can see, these are double-sided. A lot of them are double-sided. There's at least 10,000 there. Um, we want to get rid of these traffic enforcement cameras in the state. Um, in addition to all of those, I have evidence here showing that, first of all, they are very unsafe. I can provide, by the way, boxes and boxes of evidence. I just didn't want to bring it into your office today. Uh, okay. But if you want uh, those boxes of evidence, I'd be more than happy to supply it. Um, in addition to that, they are unconstitutional on numerous grounds, not least of which, of course, is uh, our right to face our accuser. Um, and in addition to that, there is a, a little problem with now making this a, a citation. Uh, we still have to report to the DOT, according to the law in Iowa. But they can't report to the DOT because that would be in conflict with the Supreme Court ruling uh, that said these have to be civil citations. So we're actually in conflict with our own law. It is the ultimate catch-22. So I hope you will consider uh, lending your support to this uh, campaign, Governor. And as I say, in the spirit of uh, bipartisanship, uh, Ben Stone and I are here uh, for much the same reason. We want these things gone from the state. Well, I've heard a lot of concerns uh, from citizens. I guess you were probably the first one that uh, brought this to my attention, but uh, uh, indeed, uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of concerns about the idea of not being able to see your accuser. Mm -hmm. And although there is a Supreme Court decision on this, uh, I've, I've looked at that decision and they basically said if they'd had a different record in which to make it, they might have made a different decision. I've supplied that Supreme Court ruling in that envelope. Okay. As well, well as we'll, we will review that. Uh, I will tell you that if the legislature uh, passes a law to ban them, I will sign it. Doesn't get much better than that, Governor. Right. All right. Thank you very much so, for taking the time now, today. Now, obviously, you know you've got to work through the legislative branch of government as well. I do know there are some members of the General Assembly that have even gone so far as to offer a constitutional amendment, mm -hmm. uh, which is a little more. In, 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 that's a little more, uh, that's, a, that's a longer process. Yes. It requires two general assemblies and a vote of the people. Uh, but I think it could be done by legislation. Mm -hmm. Well, we are taking a copy of this. Uh, everything you have, a copy is going to be delivered to Senator Dronstall today and to uh, Representative Upmeyer as well. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. And thanks for your uh, diligent effort on this. And. Uh, we will review the information that you have provided and as well. If you want more, Governor, it's uh, easy for me to provide it. Okay. But it is boxes of okay. stuff. <laughs> Governor, does it surprise you that there are that many signatures? It doesn't surprise me. I've heard a lot of concerns, a lot of complaints about this. Uh, I think the state of Arizona has banned it. Yes. yes. Uh, I, I was on vacation out there a couple years ago uh, in the middle of the desert, and a couple months later, I get uh, in, in a rental car, by the way, middle of the desert, and um, I got a fine for about $200 for going 10 miles over. Uh, I can understand why the people of Arizona didn't appreciate it because you never knew there was, and this wasn't, I don't think this was stop sign, this was speeding, but I guess it was out in the middle of the desert. Uh, and uh, I, I guess I just, there's kind of a sense of unfairness uh, about this. And uh, we're seeing now a whole lot of communities are looking at this as a, way to raise a bunch of money. And uh, I, I think there's growing concern among the citizens that this is not really the right or fair way to do it. I'm all for protecting the public safety and we've made dramatic progress in reducing traffic accidents in Iowa in recent years. I think last year, 2011, was the lowest since 1944. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I believe that uh, we have other better ways to protect public safety than and the proliferation of these uh, uh, devices. Uh, and I think there's also some concern expressed about, you know, you have an out-of-state vendor that's basically uh, profiting from this. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. who owns the cameras. <laughs> yeah, right. So I think there's a lot of questions here. And uh, as I said, if, if the General Assembly were to approve legislation banning this, uh, I would be pleased to sign it.
Actually, think, Governor, you're, you're very right that people uh, across the country, there's actually 15 <coughs> states have banned these, okay. and over 30 cities. In fact, when it's gone up for a vote of the people, like yeah. a referendum, it's lost every single time except once when the camera company spent tens of thousands of dollars in advertising. So the people really don't like living in these once they experience them. Yeah, it's kind of a big brother thing. I, I think people don't like that idea. Uh, so I, that's my sense in just traveling around the state and listening to the public. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you very and much we'll stay in touch and we'll review this. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it.